Hey, it has been a little while and we've been basically grief processing, which is, I'm pretty sure trauma processing and grief processing are like a bit interchangeable, but we've been grief, grief processing about a bunch of stuff that we've so far not had the tools to look at and so has not been looked at for years. Uh, we've been like recording a vlog and then taking like upwards of two weeks to watch it back slowly and making sure that we can stay in like a, a nervous system state where I can feel safe enough to like integrate the information between parts of me. So far that's still a bit of a goal. We got through, um, well, we got through like one video actually. It took a while to remember to be able to have all parts of me know the information and remember to integrate it. All that looked like was like, I'd watched the video back and I'd gain an understanding of it on like a layer or a couple of layers. And then I'd get to the end and suddenly realize I'd blanked the whole thing and be like, oh, I don't remember what we watched. And I'd realize that I'd slightly switched to a different part of me. So I'd like go ground, go stabilize, maybe eat something, spend some time outside, do a lot of shit that was like calming and soothing and then come back to the video watch it again if I felt able to just like that over a process of days going off of what it felt like whether or not it immediately like, I gotta pay close fucking attention to all of my body and responses to stay in it while watching these things and have emotional responses and like if I can get to the point where I'm yawning and slowly streaming tears it's a really good fucking day and it has taken a lot of rewatches taking away lenses and barriers to um, like defenses and protections I guess that keep the information kind of away from all parts of me like I have to work through them and then integrate the information once I can kind of get to it um, and that's basically what I've been doing and then fucking sleep and resting every other day and time between then like oh I am so fucking drained and tired, it's unbelievable. While doing this, we've been like, a lot of the stuff we're processing, um, kind of, and then your regular day triggers, you never know what you're gonna encounter. <laughs> it's like a really fun Russian roulette. And um, this stuff is obviously taking us back to like things that fucked with our attachment styles, traumas that I guess are relational. And at the same time as processing all this stuff, I've noticed if I'm not careful, it makes us withdraw entirely from everyone we know, including each other and ourselves. And yeah, mood, that makes sense. <sighs> so this time we've kind of spotted that and we've been trying to pay particular attention to like whether our brain seems closed down and insular for protection or whether it, we're able to keep ourselves kind of online for connection, whether we're able to really hear what a friend's saying and give a proper response without it like feeling like I'm taking more than I have because it's being used in other places. It's like, it's kind of light and easy as long as we're in the right state. Um, I don't feel like I'm straining my brain or pushing through anything. So there's like, and that I think is why we've, we've, it's made us slow down everything we're doing. Like in talking to people and talking to each other in processing and watching things. We've been really, really slowly doing what we've been doing, like even slower than I realized. We had to do it for it to be effective and having way more time for rest in between and doing things that are completely unrelated, like watching, um, being comfort watching, binge watching comfort shows and trying to do little bits of art here and there, taking dogs on nice walks, being outside in the sunlight, lots of like completely unconnected, de-stressing gaming things, which are not always easy to access because it's like, if I'm in survival mode, I can't do something leisurely. I just have to like be busy and keep going so like to be able to keep it low enough that I can still engage in 
non-urgent activities is pretty cool. I feel very, 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 very tired. Like we've kind of been like slow hiking up a mountain route for days. Uh, and I do feel kind of more, um, kind of more welcome in some parts of me. So a little more, a little more myself maybe. And that's nice at least. 